Okay, we have our website. The design looks great. We've added content and have a plan to make that content work to attract visitors and move them through our funnel once they're here. Now we need to make the website actually have an end to the funnel, a place for people to purchase, a place for your business's website to make money. In this lesson, we'll add the e-commerce functionality to your website and show you how to post products and services to sell online. Let's dive in. We're back on our Squarespace website. The steps we take you through here will be very similar to those you'll follow on other website builders, so don't be intimidated. The process is made very easy and intuitive, as you've likely seen thus far. Here, we'll choose Commerce in the left side navigation. We're ready to make some money. As you might expect, setting up a store takes a few extra steps. Squarespace walks you through them. Here you see that we need to add products for sale, add a way to get paid, and publish our store. We've already selected our subscription plan. Let's actually start with adding a way to get paid. Again, the left side menu walks you through everything. You'll see the default options are Stripe, PayPal, and Square. You'll need to choose which one you'd like to use. Each has different strengths and weaknesses. Square is the one that easily connects with a point of sale application if you have retail locations. For the purposes of our exercise, I'll choose PayPal. It's the most common. Follow the prompts to connect your PayPal or other account. When you've completed the connection, you'll show a connected payment account in your website's payments section. We're connected. Now, let's add products to our site. Again, Squarespace makes it easy to do this. Follow the instructions and make your choices. I'll be selling a physical and service product. Let's do physical first. Here, I can add all the images and information I'd like to display about my products. Squarespace has sale pricing built in, so you can display an original price, then a lower price to entice conversions. You can set your quantities. And assign a SKU number, which is your unique number assigned to each item in your inventory. You can also add categories and tags to help navigation around your products. For each product, you also have the ability to customize SEO data that search engines use to index and rank your product pages. Here is where we can change the URL the site displays for the product. the title that would appear along with the page on search engine results. And the description the search engines display with the result. Learn more about each of these elements in the accompanying article to this lesson's video. Now we've added our first product. Let's save and publish to make it visible on the site. Here's our product and our product page, looking great. If we go back to the shop page, we see the preloaded products from the template are there. We need to manage our products. Let's edit the shop page. Scroll down to the display of your products. In the upper right corner of this section, you'll see a Manage Items button. In the left side menu, choose the products. These are all the products that are published on your site. Once the list comes up, hover over the right side of each item to see the little three dots menu. Click on it and you can edit, move, or delete the item.
Squarespace is telling us we still have work to do in this section. Let's see what our next steps are to finish getting this store ready to go. Again, Squarespace makes this easy. It says we have products, but need to go to more steps to get them published. It looks like we need to choose how to ship our products. This section will be very different from business to business. Take some time to read through the materials and understand how you are going to ship your items so this part doesn't become long and confusing for you. It is very important to think through your shipping approach as it can drastically change your bottom line. So give this some good thought before making your selections. When you're ready, add a shipping option. Here you can choose a flat rate or enter a weight defined shipping charge. I'll add an entry for FedEx next day. I'll make it $2 for the first pound, then $1.50 after. Next I'll click the tab to choose where I can ship that for that fee. I'll pick the US and Canada for now. And I have a shipping option. You can add as many as you like. If you upgrade to a higher level of Squarespace use, you can connect with FedEx, UPS, and the U.S. Postal Service, or the Postal Service relevant to your country to handle the rate quotes. We have one more step to go. Let's see what it is. Publish your store. That, my friends, is the basics of getting your online business connected to e-commerce so that you can sell products online. As you can see, the website builders of today make this process relatively simple and easy to follow. There's really nothing holding you back now. Keep in mind that there are a couple of different approaches you can take here to get your website published and operating. First, you can go through and make sure all your live pages are full of great content, present calls to action to move your visitors to the next part of the customer journey, and funnel them down to purchase your products. Then you can publish it. Or you can continue to add products or services so that when you publish, your full catalog is online and ready. I recommend getting a few products up there and published, then adding new ones as you can. You will also want to see your site live and make a list of the little things you might notice you want to change. And of course, once the site is live and ready for traffic, you will need to develop a marketing plan to get that traffic. You need to promote the site, drive traffic to it, and make sure a percentage of those visitors convert. This is where advertising, email marketing, social media marketing, paid and organic search, and online media come into play. Remember, the internet is not a place where if you build it, they will come. You have to build it, then promote it like crazy, and they might come. But you are at least ready to start that part of the process because you're now equipped to build and launch your business website. I'm Jason Falls. Best of luck. I'll see you on the interwebs.